Well, hey guys, we're here in Jacksonville, Florida. We came up to see um, my father uh, to our annual Christmas trip up to uh, Jacksonville to see him. And we found this little place called Sweet Pete's Candy Shop. Um, don't know too much about it, but it's always cool to see one of those just out of the way, um, awesome, fun places to be. So let's go inside and see what it's all about. This is neat. I love the porch. They got some tables over here, people coloring. This is pretty awesome. Wow. Very cool. So they have a restaurant over here. It looks like, um, what is it? Alice in Wonderland themed? Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> they gave us three samples of caramel. Was it good? Yeah. Yeah? It tastes like popcorn caramel. Tastes like popcorn? Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> Jacksonville. <laughs> I'm going to sneak peek in here and see what it's all about. Wow, that's neat. <laughs> you know what it tastes like? Yeah. What? That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's so much closer for you guys. I actually go for a short weekend. It does taste like kettle corn yeah. popcorn. What is this flavor? That's our sea salt caramel. Did you get one? Yeah. We're sharing. We're sharing one. Oh. Well, you don't have to share. You can both share this. Okay, one. fine. I'll take one. <laughs> it tastes like popcorn. Oh, good. Look at this. What's that, bud? Thank you. Cool. The sweet thing. Neat. <laughs> and if you guys are interested, we do um, a tour at 12:30. It's five dollars per person. It takes about 20 minutes, and it includes a custom chocolate bar. You put a lot of form, and then after the uh, tour, you get a bar made the, the way you want it. And then we tell you about the building and the company and all of that. Okay, can we sign up for that? Sure. 12:30. Awesome. And then let me give you. Some I'll put these on your shirt so that she knows you're part of the tour. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you guys. Hi. Hi. Welcome to meet you, Sebastian. Hello, buddy. I'm Darlene. Hi, everybody. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Darlene. Hi. Uh, everyone's like, you look like a, like a Christmas mermaid. I was like, thank you. Nicest <laughs> things I've ever heard in my life. Hi, um, so I know your name's Sebastian. What about yours? David. David, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Erica. Erica. Yay. Genevieve. Oh, it's so pretty. Amber. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I, I checked your bar right here. Oh, your name. Oh, David. Nice to meet you. Oh, Lorelai. Yay, I love it. Together, you're the 1230 tour. And I have like the worst memory ever, so I won't remember it, but I will love you forever. So that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we'll get started with the history of this beautiful building. So we are standing in the 116-year-old Seminole Club. It was a meeting place for affluent businessmen. They would come here and party really, really hard. And so many places you go to in the building or want something else. We are standing in a former bowling alley. Yeah. Guys, on the sweet peeps in our history, has anyone here ever heard of Peter Brook Chocolatier? Erica, that's fine. If you have, woohoo. If you have, woohoo. No favoritism. You're all great. Um, but Peter Brook is a candy company that started in the 1980s in Jacksonville. And often locals think that Peter Brook and Sweet Peeps are the same business, but we are separate entities from the same family. So Peter Brook was started by Sweet Pete's mom. He's a real guy, not just a fun name of this place. <laughs> but um, his mom got him making candy, got Pete making candy when he was 13 years old. But he grew up, he fell in love with that beautiful lady that checked you and Allison. And uh, finished school and all kinds. She's like the first lady of candy, so cool, right? <laughs> but anyway, so um, they both figured out they both love candy and decided to start Sweet Pete's in 2010 in historic Springfield. So, but years later in 2014, Pete, Pete and his beautiful wife Allison wanted to do even more with their company, but they didn't have the funding to do it or someone to take them in that next direction business wise. So they applied to be on a TV show called The Profit. Have you guys heard of this? No, I haven't. That's cool. Um, so it's comparable to the Shark Tank on ABC, only instead of multiple investors, it's on MSNBC, and there's one investor by the name of Marcus Simonis. He's a billionaire. He 
came to our shop, thought we were pretty cool, thought the candy was awesome, and invested $3.4 million into the company. So that's when we got to this beautiful building. Yeah, but now to talk about our candy. Um, so part of our mission statement is to be a candy company for people of all walks of life and all allergies. So most of our candy is gluten-free. That includes the delicious fudge you see in this case. Um, my favorite is the Rocky Road. So it has Belgian milk chocolate, uh, marshmallow that Pete makes himself and he uses honey for the recipe, it's so good. And then roast pecans. I also love the pumpkin because I'm that girl this time of the year. <laughs> pumpkin everything. <laughs> uh, but what I like about it is that it tastes like pumpkin pie, not just like a pumpkin spice. On that table behind you, love the people. Um, there's sea salt caramel popcorn, chocolate covered cake pod, kettle cooked potato chips, all that's gluten free. And this case right here, this is our only um, treats that we make in-house or dip in-house that do contain gluten. And these are dips, nutter butters, Oreos, pretzel sticks, all kinds of fun, fun things that help me bust out of my jeans. I love it so much. And then over here, <laughs> I was like, it's a support group, yay. These are fine chocolates. And so these, we don't make our own truffles unless you're 21 and up and you would like to take the boozy truffles class. No pressure, it's a good time. Um, yeah, you get to make those. But our fine chocolates are made in-house by Pete and our candy makers, and they're delicious. Our then down here, we have these gummies that also are not made by us. But these are vegan gummies, so instead of being made with gelatin, they're made with agar and extraction from seaweed. You wouldn't know the difference, they're so good. <laughs> we make three different types of lollipops here at Sweet Pete's. The chocolate lollipop, the milk dark and white chocolate. A cast lollipop we're sold out of, so come back for that. But it's comparable to a Jolly Rancher, and we can make these in fun shapes. And then we have these beautiful handful of lollipops. You can take a class to learn how to make these, but they come in small, and then medium, a little bit bigger. Kind of like the size of a smaller stick. Unicorn, my absolute favorite. <laughs> Do it. And then no in-between size at all, extra hujungus, oh my. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so all of these are formed in 30 seconds or less, but I'm gonna take you to the kitchen so I can tell you how they're made. to work with. We're not elbowing each other every 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pop downstairs do a walk through the kitchen. This is from the first film uh, that debuted 1971 starring Gene Wilder. Um, take pictures, make your friends jealous. Stay put. You'll see me downstairs in a hairnet in 30 seconds or less. <laughs> Pardon me, sweetheart. No. This so cool. is insane. Look at that. That's awesome. That's the Maybe real, really Golden Whoa. Oh, there she is with a hairnet. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. All right, guys. Hey, just to make sure you can hear me, when I say chocolate, I want all of you to say factory, okay? Chocolate! Factory! factory. One more time. Chocolate! Factory! factory. I love it. And while we have them, everyone say hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Thanks for loving candy, Pete. <laughs> 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 hey, you guys. Speaking of chocolate, we don't make it ourselves. It all comes from Belgium, from this really awesome company called Calvin. And when it gets to us, it comes in bags like this big, full of little chips like Nestle chocolate chips. And we dump them into these machines called tempering tanks. We have four in the kitchen. At your fullest, these two can hold up to 450 pounds of chocolate wow. at one time. So cheesy. <laughs> So this thing has our Belgian milk chocolate. The blades you see are called agitators. It constantly turns the chocolate to make sure everything stays together. And then something you can't see is that these tanks are water jacketed. We need to keep our chocolate when we're using it. And between 87 and 92 degrees, that watering system does that for us. 
If we didn't temper our chocolate, a couple of things would happen. Like, has anyone here ever let chocolate melt in the car in your pocket, anything like that? Mm -hmm. Super happy. All the time. And if you let it be cool again, unlike me who just drinks it out of the package, you're going to notice a couple of things. That your chocolate falls apart and that there might be a thin white chocolate film on top. There's nothing wrong with your chocolate, just because the fat has separated from your chocolate. These tanks stop ever from doing that. But we can also hand tip our chocolate on our cold stone tables. Alright, so let me take you to our next area. I'll be up there in a second. This place is amazing. Hey okay, guys, look at their teddy bears have hair nets on them too. That's Pink the Cat! Oh. See, I guess I wasn't paying attention. And there's another Pink the Cat over there. <laughs> Anyways, so the rest of the second floor when this building was the Seminole Club it was a grand ballroom. <laughs> Women were only allowed on this floor when they had that annual ball. But now we are everywhere, you eat candy, it is great. We have tons of candy to eat. So this area is called our CYO, or Create Your Own. You can put candy in a bag at $20 per pound or save yourself some money and put candy in a container. Um, most of our in-house made candy on this floor is gonna be sold on this table here. Our most allergy-friendly candy is the taffy, so it is nut-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, and made with natural food colored flavors. You guys, this area here is kind of like our kids' souvenir shop. We have our bear table with gummy bear night lights, and uh, even our uh, bear baskets that have um, teddy bears that look like service members. It's pretty cool. Uh, we also have pajamas, t-shirts, all kinds of fun candy, set your fist in that for little ones. But the coolest thing about this room is this stand here. It's originally a Mike and Ike stand and a special gift to us from the original FAO Schwartz that was open in downtown New York for 100 years. A little before they closed, almost three or five years ago, they found out about Sweet Peas, thought we were pretty cool, and gave us this stand, as well as that random yellow peep that we all know and love. <laughs> I like to call them Big Yellow, but if you tell anyone else that, they won't know what you're talking about. It's just me. <laughs> all right, so have sea salt caramels for you guys. Thank there we you. go. Thank you. Thanks for coming, guys. So we're going to make our way to Pete's parlor. But on the way in, I'd like to draw your attention to this safe. It is as old as the building, weighs two tons, so we'll never move it, and it is locked. When we first moved here, or moved to this building in December of 2014, our painters painted this, and not knowing that we did not have the combination, they painted it and they shut it. So if you want a MacGyver or a national treasure way into it, be my guest, but no pressure, guys. <laughs> Welcome to Pete's Parlor. Its main function is for you to come in and enjoy whatever you find at Pete's Creamery. Have it be ice cream, a crab soda, fun stuff like that. We also use this for um, classrooms or parties, and we have field trips. We can house up to 200 kids at one time. We use our two party classrooms upstairs, and then this room here as well. Uh, it's, it's a loud, crazy candy party, we love it. Um, but when this building was the cinema club, this was an outdoor patio. If you look through the frosted glass, you see that low-lying balcony railing, kind of get a feel for it. But from this balcony, Presidents Eisenhower, Theodore Roosevelt, and JFK made addresses to the city of Jacksonville. Pretty cool stuff. Even cooler, we have our giant gummy bear and our giant gummy snake, our only and favorite cats here at Sweet Pete's. They are rumored to weigh anywhere between 75 to 125 pounds together and equal out to almost 32,000 calories, but I'm not ready to find out for sure. So yeah, <laughs> everything in this case is edible. The grass you see is made out of something comparable to a wafer cookie, like the ones that come with cream. Um, and we don't make these ourselves. They come from a vendor we sell around Easter time for baskets. And the flowers you see are from Italy. They're wrapped Jordan almonds, but they're chocolates. We make almost 40% of the candy you see, see here at Sweet Pete's and everything else comes from candy shows and expos our owners go to all, all over the country, all over the world. So, welcome to Pete's Creamery, all kinds of fun things, like I was saying, the craft sodas. And they range anywhere between traditional flavors like IBC cream soda, oh. Stewart's root beer, to flavors for the more daring palate like pimple pop soda, bloody nose soda, uh, grass flavored soda. Any of these drinks we made into floats with the, um, with the ice cream we sell, and it's Hershey ice cream up made in house. And from Hershey, Pennsylvania, but not um, Hershey Chocolate Bar, separate company. Oh, oh there's Superman. There's like a Frozen parody one. I'm like, this is right so there. cool. Look at that oh, Superman. Good. That's amazing. It's the original comic color. <laughs> oh, you're you right. Sundays, oh, you can order oh, nice. the 30 scoop ice cream sundae called the Zoo. Yes, so but it's 10 scoops of chocolate, the vanilla, the strawberry, too much marshmallow fluff, even more with cream, sprinkles, bananas, cherries, all kinds of fun stuff to make you, you know, pop your jeans, a button on your jeans. Jeez. And it's $55 well spent. It's been finished twice. Just twice. It's only twice in the two years that we've been doing it. So this is our packaging room. 
that's Melissa. Go Melissa. There's two Melissas in the kitchen now. Just kidding, I have Melissa left. Anyways, they're both Melissas. And this is where we package our candy. When this building was the Seminole Club, this was a racquetball room. Wow. wow. But now we have a few machines that help us cut and wrap and package our candy. Well, we package it. But in the left middle of the room, we have a machine called Butch. It's this white table-esque machine where you see that stack of trays with some caramel on top. Can you all say hi, Butch? Hi, hi Butch. Butch. <laughs> Butch's full name is Butch the Butcher, and he slices our candy. So we peel out pans of candy, usually our caramel, onto that mat, and then feed it through Butch's slot vertically, then horizontally to make small squares, and then all of those small squares are given to the red machine on Butch's right called Rosie. Can you all say hi, Rosie? Hi, Rosie. <laughs> so Rosie's full name is Rosie the Rapper. What? And she wraps our candy at her fastest. Rosie can wrap up to 100 to almost 120 pieces of candy per minute. Wow. Yeah, as opposed to when we used to hand wrap our candy, and our fastest employee could wrap about 10 pieces of candy per minute, then I could eat five or seven, they still kept me around, so go sleep eats. <laughs> So welcome to the third floor. When this building was the Seminole Club, this started out as an open rooftop garden. Yeah. It was enclosed in 1907 to be made into apartments for bachelors that would come and stay in town. But now there's our toy store and event space. This room over here is the yellow candy room. It has a gumball mural that's been plastered up. And light fixtures meant to resemble gumballs hanging from the ceiling. Behind us is the blue chocolate room. It has a chocolate mural yeah, with sorry. blue walls. And people think all the time that um, the walls are scratch and sniff or kids on field trips. More like, it tastes like paper. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Now the toy store, its full name is a Pete's Over the Top Toy Shop. So it's a classic big top circus theme. And if you guys look up, you're gonna see some circus acts that come to entertain us. So over here, there is a clown enjoying a sweet pea tan full of lollipop. It's a little creepy because it's a clown. Unless you have someone in your family that's a professional clown, I totally take that back. And then on the other side of the theme is a trapeze artist dressed in red with deer's head. And the last theme is a bunny on a unicycle having the time of his life. Now the murals of the toy store were hand painted by the cutest little old lady in Jacksonville. Her name's Nancy and she got up on a ladder, almost 90, and painted the murals. So these walls and the wow. Oh, she did that one? Yeah. yeah. Holy cow. I got lost here all the time when I first started working here. We lost your daddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Oh. Your friends now? Yeah. Your friends now? Cool. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to my new best friend. <laughs> Um, anyways, you guys, so this is the Blue Discovery Room, geared towards um, enhancing little ones' cognitive development and getting their motor skills going. So all kinds of fun hands-on toys. This back wall has arts and crafts activities and usually candy labs for you to take home. But we're sold out, to so come back and see us. Um, last but not least, this back wall um, has, it's my favorite facet of the entire toy store. So it is lined with classic childhood books, everything from Paddington to Curious George. But not only can you read these timeless tales, you can also snuggle up with a matching stuffed animal. I feel so cheated as an adult. Where was this when I was a child? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright guys, one more room. Yay! This is cool. Your favorite, wasn't it, bud? Yes, I did. Yes. <gasps> Train. I think that's his kind of crush. You think? Yeah. <laughs> what in the... <laughs> this is me. This is my paradise. <laughs> Love you guys. The trend. Some places have selfie rooms, and now we're one of those places as well. There's about five backdrops for you to take pictures with. Um, there's a flyer with my face on it downstairs. It was to advertise this room. So if you're like, this kind of looks familiar, that's why. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so cheesy. Anyways, so before we added in our selfie room, this is our pink princess room. Ooh. And every little girl in Jacksonville, her little hearts were so broken because we replaced it. But I think this is a really great replacement. Um, but, oh, thank you for coming. I have such a big mouth. Oh my golly, you're the best. Um, so two options for you. I could bring your chocolate bars up here if you'd like to take pictures or you can meet me downstairs. But do you guys want to take pictures? Yeah. Oh my gosh, please do. You're all so cute. And, uh, you know, tag us, you know. So that's because not everybody likes hugs. Oh no, I love hugs. <laughs> <laughs> this is my shower. <laughs> oh, hey. 
<laughs> she made it. I have a shock of bars and a comic bar. Because my boss lets you know if I'm scaring people or doing a great job on tours. <laughs> so. It's an incredible job. So if you're like, this is trash, all ones. If you're like, you're the bestest, all fives, but no pressure. You do yum. <laughs> don't, don't fight over it, haha. Huh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. Pretty cool. I want to go to your name, David. Which one? There's two of us. Two James. <laughs> See, I told you this memory. I like to call it junior dimension. Alright. So, uh, this one's yours, yeah? I think that one's mine. There you go. I think. Uh, Morlai. Go Star! Go Star! Alright, Dwight! Alright, Dwight! Thank you. Mine is the one with the prop box in it. Oh, that's the best. There you go, one bug. I have hot rocks in my Whoa. You want to scoop some? No. Yeah. Just looking. That smells amazing when you open these things. I bet. <laughs> Ooh, this is Zamakis. This is great. Moo Moo Milkshake? Samples, right? You want to sample some of our ice cream? You want to sample some ice cream? Yeah. I'll have the sample of some Superman. <laughs> There's actually two kinds of Superman, and ours is the Michigan Superman. So it's not just vanilla with colors, it's actually three distinct fruit flavors. Whoa. We've got cherry, lemon, and the blue is a mystery. So I don't know. Ooh. There's Whoa. all three. Here you go. You gotta grab it, buddy. Careful. Color changing spoon. <laughs> yeah. We love fun here, so even our spoons are a little bit fun. How was that? What did it taste like? The blue is probably like a blueberry raspberry. A blueberry raspberry? Okay, good. Now I know what to call it. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. That was cool. <laughs> oh, these shirts are cool. Eat good. Eat good what? Eat, Eat good candy. candy at Sweet Pete's. Oh, is this? Look. There's Sweet Pete. That's Sweet Pete. That's a Lego. That's so cool. <laughs> well guys, that was Sweet Peaks. That was the tour in Sweet Peaks with our amazing tour guide, Miss Noel. The smells in here are amazing. Yep. We gained five pounds just from the scents, right? We tried the salted sea salt caramel, their biggest seller, and I lost a tooth. It was so sweet. <laughs> it was a wonderful tour. This is an amazing shop. Great employees. Very informative. Piece of history here in Jacksonville. Come visit. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. See you all next time on Fisher Family Fun Ventures.